All right, take two. Let's try this again. Hopefully my broadcast goes through okay. Tell me if you can see me as you come on here. So I want to make sure my Facebook Live is working okay because I'm not too sure. Anyhow, as you're logging on, I'm Sonia, and I love to make homes beautiful, and I love to repurpose, upcycle, just give some old stuff new life. And so, yeah, right now it's probably like 10, maybe after 10 right here, uh, my local time. I'm in the uh, beautiful Laurel Highlands outside of Pittsburgh, and I probably shouldn't be in bed right now. But uh, I can't help myself, you see, because I'm a night owl, and I like to, um, this is like when I get my best ideas. Anybody else out there get like this, um, just get this I don't know, second win. Hey, Glenda, oh, thank you so much. Good, good, good deal. Okay, thank you, Carol. I really appreciate you guys. Sometimes Facebook can be weird like that, and so I wasn't seeing anybody, so I just thought I'd stop and come back on. So, yeah, I should be sleeping, um, and trust me, I'm going to be watching some Netflix later, but is there anybody out there that, like me, it's late, um, but you're still doing stuff around your house, you know what I mean, stuff that you want it to get to. So, you know that um, I love to paint. Still up late and working, eh, Bethany? I bet you're working on some great junk monkey paint signs. I can't wait to see what you do, girl. Of course, you guys know I have Junk Monkey Monday, so be sure to, Bethany, I can't wait to see your projects because I know you're working on something good. Um, so yeah, hey Sharon, how are you? Oh, thank you, girl. You know what? I have recently found, thank you for saying you like my headband, I've actually recently found a um, an obsession with uh, paparazzi jewelry. You guys know that I love to make homes beautiful, but do it on a budget, right? And I am all, I'm all about, like, I'm the clearance shopper, I'm the thrifty shopper, I'm the budget shopper, and so anyway, I found jewelry with, through paparazzi that's like five bucks. So anybody else do paparazzi? because I'm serious like they have like the most awesome things anyway side note but check it out really <laughs> one of the ladies actually who comes to my shabby shop she hooked me up she uh, tagged me at a party and ever since I've had this obsession okay so I can't you know you can't beat it I can be at home in my pajamas like watching a live jewelry party so heck yeah right sign me up <laughs> So anyhow, working on my table tonight. So anybody else out there who just needs to give a new look to their table? Like, you're over it, right? And I'm going to be honest with you. This is a table that, you know, God love my neighbor. He thought of me because he actually um, found somebody who was about, hey, Sierra, how are you? Hey, Robin. It was who, He found somebody who was burning a table set, thought of me hauled it to his house, who's my neighbor, and uh, went over and picked it up. Okay, so this was probably like two or three years ago. To me, it was like, oh, my God, Christmas Day, right? Because I love, like, I have a lot of things in my home. I'm going to be honest with you that um, when I think about it, I have stories attached to them, right? You find them. You're out junking and picking and hauling, and so they came from people, or people found them for you, or you found them on your travels. So anyway, this table came from a neighbor. It was an espresso color, and a couple years ago, uh, before I had company coming over, and I just had got it. Like, I think I was up late, like, just like a night like now, and I painted it in our black velvet junk monkey paint. You can see it, right? Did some distressing, did the chairs that went with it. Actually, that night I even reupholstered the chair seats that went with it and kind of did a, a Parisian style. It has like a white writing on the seats. Um, anyway, did the whole table in black, and that was a couple years ago, but now I'm over it. I just want something new. And uh, it can be the smallest change in my house, but sometimes I feel like just by, by doing something, maybe it's just a new sign I put on the wall. All of a sudden you just have, anybody else get like that refreshed feeling like when you bring something new into your space? So, but I don't want to haul this out of my space because it's got good bones, it's solid wood, it, it is heavy as heck. So yeah, yeah, my, love, my husband absolutely loved me when I said, hey, we're getting the new table, a new old table, and uh, it weighs like 500 pounds. So that was fun getting this into my house through the door and getting it all set up. But anyway, it's here. And it was one of those things that once this comes in, it ain't ever going out again, okay? So I painted it black. But now I'm ready to do something else with it. And I don't want to buy a new one. I don't want to get rid of it. Because, you know, why do I need to do that, right? I can paint again. And that's what I'm doing tonight. So this is our um, black velvet. And... I sealed it, all that good stuff. But now I'm adding some extra C stuff to it because I want to change it out and I want to make it a little bit different, right? So this is a great way. If I figured I'd turn my camera on because if you're out there and you have a dining room table and you're just looking for something different to freshen it up, maybe you have end tables, maybe you have um, nightstands. Um, you could even do this to a wall if you really wanted to, right? So this is what I'm using. Um, this is I actually got these at Hobby Lobby. And they, you know, I told you, I'm a clearance shopper. Take a look at this. Can you see it? Yellow sticker. You know what that means to me? Heck yeah. Like it means like flashing lights, Sonia, look this way. Okay. So I got this big giant. It says it's a wall stencil, wall and floor stencil. 
but who says you can't use it on a table? Mm -hmm. See what's going on back here? So this is kind of what it's looking like right now. So I'm going to share with you guys how easy it is to change the look of your tabletop. And I'll show you how you do it because stenciling can be tricky. And you're like, well, how do I stencil so it comes out nice, right? Because I've had some real doozies and I've kind of learned along the way, okay? But this is a great technique. So you can do this for, um, even if you want to do a backdrop for like signs, whatever it might be. This is where I am. Hey, Carrie, how are you, girl? We're doing this on, on my tabletop tonight. And this table, because I've known I want to change it out for a while, I've kind of been like rough with it. I've been crafting at it. And uh, you might even see some like flecks of, pa of paint from previous craft projects that I've done on it because I really wanted it to be worn. I didn't want it to be perfect um, because, you know, what in this life is perfect, right? And I, I love when things are imperfect, but overall they look beautiful. That's kind of that's kind of where, you know, that's my jam. That's where I am. So um, I've been rough with it. And I've got splatters over it. Um, just from painting before from you know with a brush and that sort of thing but that's okay so here's where I am right now kind of pick you up and share with you where I am okay so remember this is the stencil go grab one they're usually about like I got them on sale but you can see I got mine for four dollars and sixty two cents heck yeah but um, they're regularly about fifteen dollars for the big ones and I'll show you what I did with it okay so you take it out and it looks like this now, in a perfect world, where nothing is perfect, of course, you could use things called stencil adhesive. And what that is, is you spray the back of it and it sticks wherever you put it. And literally, you can stick it down, peel it up, stick it down, peel it up, that sort of thing. But ain't nobody got time for that. So, you know what, I just kind of go. And I'm going to be honest with you. When people say, like, how do you get stuff done in your house? Um, how do you get this much stuff done? Or whatever the case might be, whatever I'm working on. I'm going implement to implementation trumps preparation every single day. So if there's something you want to do, don't overthink it. Just do it, okay? Just do it. So here's where I started. Got my tabletop. And when you start with a stencil, it can be difficult because you're like, where do I start, right? Um, so if you don't put your stencil in the right place, what happens is it can be squished. It can be like everything seems shifted this way or that way. So here is what you do you measure your surface that you're working with. So you're gonna measure it long ways. Did I actually use this measuring tape? No, I just have it here to make me look fancy. But yeah, no, actually I didn't, but I'm just gonna let you know, in case there's somebody out there that might wanna use a measuring tape, basically what you do is you find your, your uh, cross point and your long point, right? And right in the center, you find the center of your stencil. So you put the center of your stencil in the very center of your piece. Don't start in the corner and work your way over. You, it will never come out the way you want it, okay? So I put mine right here, and then I kind of work, and I'll show you how I do it. So I'm gonna complete this so you guys can watch me. Tell me how everybody's doing tonight. Hey, Carrie. So girl, I know I never stop, but this is so easy. I'm telling you, this is so easy. So if you have a table, and you're just sick of it, and you just want something different, um, this is where I am. And so the cool thing is like with our uh, paint, you don't have to worry. So like this table was fine for me when it was just black and I just had painted it black. You don't have to prime or prep or any of that good stuff because who's got time for that? But once it's down, I can then keep adding whatever I want to it. So if I don't like this table, I can repaint it teal, which don't be surprised if I paint it teal down the road because you may see that too because I am not above painting my table teal. So I've laid my stencil down and kind of caught one of the very pieces that I've already painted. So this is kind of how you line it up. So it's already down there. You basically, um, it's kind of like you just position it right where it catches on something else you've painted, and then you continue to paint on the other ones. And then what you do, I'm just using a, a shabby chip brush. These are just the cheap brushes because like I said, Who's got time to pay $30 for a brush? Seriously. So just grab, these are my favorite brushes to use. 85 cents, can't beat that, right? If I leave it out overnight, who cares? If it dries, if I wanna throw it away after I'm done, I can do that too. But the key is just make sure you swipe in the same direction, okay? So imagine a wall done like this. How cool would this be, right? That would be so, so cool. And you can get so many designs. Like if you've never been, been to the stencil section, and you can find them in places like, you know, the traditional Michaels and Joanne fabrics, those sorts of places. But, and Hobby Lobby, obviously. But look how cool that is, right? So now I'm just going to move this here. By the way, so the table was the uh, black velvet. This is just uh, a vintage white that I'm using. And I'm trying to lighten up my table. 
So I've got that down. Now what I'm going to do is move over here and I'm going to place it in a another area where I kind of grab and fill back in with the stencil a few of the um, pieces that I've already painted. And this what happens is this keeps my stencil then all aligned. Because you ever paint something and you feel like you go off like on a diagonal? Not cool, right? That's not the look you were looking for. So I'm going to just drag my brush. Don't put a whole lot on your brush because that can get you into trouble. That's where things take forever to dry and it just looks blobby, okay? And I'm trying to go for a more of a distressed look, so I'm just lightly brushing over this and peel it back, quickly like a band-aid, and there you go, like how awesome is this, right? So when I get up here and I've just done this last one, let me see, was this a wet one? Nope, oh, look at that, cool. So I'm gonna put that right over here again. And so I see I got some, if you, if you move your stencil, uh, when you're working with a paint and you kind of drag some paint somewhere, just keep a wet rag with you and just, you can clean it up if you really, really want to. But again, I'm kind of going for the imperfect look, so I was okay with drips and scratches and that sort of thing going on because I wanted it to look worn, right? So if you've ever been on Pinterest and you've seen the farmhouse tables, like sometimes you can see them, they have letters all over them. They could have numbers all over them. I mean, I've seen some really cool ones from like Pier, Pier 1, that sort of thing. Anybody seen those on Pinterest? So this is how you can really mimic. So if you have a table um, and you want it to do it sort of like a farmhouse, like this is more of what I would call like a Moroccan kind of style. But, um, and you can do it all kinds of colors, right, and have fun with it. But if you really want it to do something that was more of a... Um, let's see, like a farmhouse, just choose colors that are creamy neutrals, you know, whites, tans, that sort of thing, and then just keep your hair dryer, because when you get to the point where you've got a lot of wet area, handy dandy hair dryer, let's see how far it will reach, oh, let's see here, and this paint dries really fast, so bear with me, It's gonna dry these real fast. I'll show you a step that I'm gonna do as well, okay? But I'm just gonna kind of get it over in this area a little bit. So anybody out there watching any good Netflix lately? I need some new, um, need some new shows. I'm kind of closing in on the ones I've been watching, and. Uh, this is when I like to kind of like lay in bed. This is when I watch TV late at night. And so yeah, if you're ever messaging me for like cabinet quotes or furniture quotes and you hear back from me at like midnight, this is why. This is because like, you know, I'm painting my table at 1030 at night and then I still need some time just to, you know, just to chill out and to um, relax a little bit. But I've always been programmed to be up late. I don't know why. If my mother was on here, she would tell you that, like, when I should be in bed sleeping when I was a teenager, I was up changing around my room, I was painting my toenails, doing designs, because I could not help myself, okay? So I'm going to put this here so, and continue to work on that. But I want to show you one other thing that I'm going to do, because I think will be really, really cool. Let's see. Let me dry this a little bit, and I'll show you how I'm going to blend it in, okay? Oh, fantastic beast. What is that? Is that good? I've been watching this show. It's called Limitless. Any, Limitless. Anybody else out there watching it? continue working on this entire table and I'll take a picture so what's gonna do is everything is gonna fill in so if you're thinking about doing this to your table you could even just do a runner like how cool would that be or like I said end tables um, nightstands that sort of thing and you could have fun with all kinds of different different colors but you can see the curtain behind me it's kind of cream 
This is white. So I want this table to be to feel really old and distressed and worn by the time I'm done. Once I get it done, I may even add some like white flecks to the table legs just to kind of bring it down and around. Hey, yes, girl, just getting started here. So, um, but this is kind of how it's coming out right now. But how easy of a flip is that to a table that I don't want to haul outside? There ain't no way it's going out. And uh, I don't even know if it could fit through my door. I am not unscrewing the legs and taking it out, but I'm over it. I need a different, I need a different look. So in order to kind of tone down this, I'm going to use some of our antiquing glaze. So like I said, if I don't want this to be a really, really vivid, vivid white, and I'm doing more creams, that sort of thing, all I'm going to do is, ooh, there's a ghost in my house. Let's see. It's probably one of my dogs opening up the doors. Anybody else have animals that actually open up the doors? Um, so anyhow, let's see here. So now I'm going to take some of my glaze. Make sure that you do it over the ones that are actually dry. I'm kind of speeding this up for your purposes tonight. But then what I'm going to do is just kind of rub it over. And I can wipe it off. I can darken it up if I want. Oh, I'm kind of liking how dark that is. I can just kind of put it on a little bit here and there if I want to. But what's going to happen is it's going to kind of make my table look really muted. And depending on how heavy I want, a little bit of water will kind of like mute this down even more but I want it to be distressed and I want it to be kind of a warm warm distress so I'm just wiping it all over and some people ask me sometimes you know if I've already painted something can I paint it over again with a junk monkey paint heck yeah you know what this is why I don't mind painting things um, because I know if down the road I want to change something out I can just paint it again and you know that home you know trends change every so many years so like I say I joke now but let's let's just say if I want this table teal down the road I can have it teal down the road right so you can play with it you can distress it if I really want it to I could even do some more distressing uh, just take some sandpaper and really really rough it up as well so it just depends on um, the kind of look that you're trying to achieve so I'm going to keep working on this. If you have somebody in your life that would, um, that just needs a quick update to their table and um, maybe you got company coming over, you got the one you want, you can't afford another one and you just want to give it a whole new look, this is a great way to do it, okay? So please share the video if you have somebody who needs some inspiration and uh, a little bit of paint goes a long ways. All right, let me come over here, see if you, what you guys are saying. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Sarah. How are you? Sam, how are you? You're painting tonight too. See, that's what happens, you know? When, you, um, when you're creative, sometimes you just can't turn it off, right? Yeah, sometimes you just can't turn it off, okay? And then it's, that's when the husband yells out from upstairs, are you coming to bed or not? So, yes, absolutely. <laughs> what stencil is that? This is one that I got from Hobby Lobby in the clearance section. Heck yeah, right? It already sounds good. And uh, it's a, like a floor and wall one, but I like to use it even on my furniture. At this point, you know how I did the stencil tutorial the other night, and I told you I have a bit of an obsession with... with um, with um, napkins. Well, when I see stencils on clearance, that means like put them in your carts on you for later. So I have like polka dots. So think about all the ideas that you can do polka dots, you can do chevron, you can do stripes. And remember, you can play it up too. So if you want it to do, like how cool would it be um, if I wanted to do this in a metallic? That would be really super, right? Super cool. So you can do all kinds of different things with it. Antique it, not antique it. That's where you get to have fun with, fun with it and get to experiment. But you can put this look on anything. But if you need a quick table change, how awesome, right? I have that stencil. How did you get it to stay down, girl? I just, honestly, I just winged it. <laughs> so, true story, you can use, of course, adhesive to keep it down, but ain't nobody got time for that because, you know what, it's 1030 at night, and I don't even know where my can of adhesive is, to be truthful to you. So, but I'm never somebody that uses it. I just kind of put it down and go with it because, like I say, you know, just doing it, just getting it done is the best way. Yes, they, well, they, Sarah, I just kind of showed how you can put them and lay them out and you kind of, you put them all together so that they uh, can make the surface big, great for walls, great for any size furniture. And if you go back, I'll show you how, like where to start. So that way when you finish, um, you can kind of go as wide as you want, but the pattern looks even and consistent throughout the entire thing. So just some quick tips on that. All right, so I'm going to jump off of here tonight. Um, hope you guys have a great Saturday evening. Once I finish this up, I'll take some pictures, but then I'm going to go and I'm going to review if you guys left any of your suggestions for what I should watch on Netflix. Because like I say, I'm into Limitless and I'm pretty close to the uh, This Is Us finale as well. So 
need some new stuff anyway so leave me your uh, best recommendations here so I can review review them and uh, yeah so when I'm up late <laughs> all right I will talk to you girls later you guys take care hey Liz take care talk to you soon bye